first demo is by an up and coming chef out of Houston, Texas, who runs Robusto Food House, offering cooking classes, private chef services, and even a line of smoked olive oil and salts. His cuisine is a blend of classic French technique influenced by regional Texas fare, combined with the flavors of his hometown of Rio de Janeiro and other South American classics. So please help me welcome Tiago Carino from Robusto Food House. Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Chef Tiago Quirino, and today we're gonna make uh, meatless stroganoff. And we're gonna change a little bit of the Russian and the French recipe because somehow this dish went all the way to Brazil. So we changed a little bit over there and I hope you guys enjoy. Usually the stroganoff, it's made with beef or chicken, but for the meatless demonstration, we're gonna use different type of mushrooms. So today we have trumpets, mitots and clam shells. We have alba and brown. For herbs, we have rosemary, thyme and sage. And we're gonna sous vide there with a little bit of butter. For this portion over here, it's the sauce. So we have celery, carrots, onions, leeks. We have Dijon mustard, tomato paste, a little bit of brandy. Then you can substitute with any liquor that you enjoy. Uh, it could be whiskey as well. And table cream. So for all we're gonna do now, we're gonna just uh, the trumpets. You're gonna cut them, you know, smaller pieces. We don't want to cut too small, but we're cutting pieces like this. I'm gonna do those as well. For the clams, we're gonna save these bottles over here. We can use for any other thing. This one, we're gonna keep as a whole. Same thing for the albas, the white part. I'm gonna save this for later. And for the Mai Tai, you're just gonna break some. Because remember, for this dish, we don't have meat, we don't have chicken. So we need some type of bigger pieces. So it's almost feel like you're eating meat, but it just if we cut everything in small, you're not gonna have much of texture. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna put all this inside the bag with some mushrooms and all the herbs. Like this. I'm gonna put the butter. And we're not gonna season this because we're gonna just season the end. And then I'm gonna sous vide at 175 for 30 minutes to one hour. And we're gonna be right back.
that's it guys thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments please let me know i hope to see you guys next time take care bye bye amazing i when i grow up i want to be able to plate like tiago does he does amazing dishes and they're always so inventive i've done sous vide mushrooms once or twice and they always turn out they taste a little denser to me and like they retain a little bit more of their juiciness. I asked uh, Mike Lashardi, my uh, co-founder who I know does a lot. And he says that they turn out a lot more tender and juicy when he does them as well. So that's uh, some of the reasons why you would want to use sous vide for it. I also did it the other day when I just wanted mushrooms and I was too lazy to pull out my pan. I threw them into a bag with some, uh, some butter and some thyme, threw them in the sous vide machine and they were good to go in um, about 45 to 60 minutes for me, but I wasn't overly timing them because there's a lot more uh, leniency. So if you like Tiago's video, let him know in the comments, give him some love.